What's up, yogis? It's Hiro, and welcome to the Aloe Yoga YouTube channel. Um, today, I'm gonna work you through some tuck transitions, whether that's from handstand to handstand, crow to chaturanga, working on your low lasana, or just building overall strength and coordination. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, uh, give a thumbs up, or if you tried out these exercises, leave a comment. All right, let's get started. So today you're gonna need a towel and a block. And to get started, we are going to find our protracted shoulder blades. So come into a tabletop here. And from this neutral tabletop, I want you to start lifting the spine in between the shoulder blades and really squeezing your triceps in towards each other. Really important to keep the head lifted because if you don't, you're just gonna find this rounded shape. And when you try to hit your handstands or your arm balances, you're just gonna roll forward here. So keep the head lifted and then let's coordinate. Tuck the toes, hover the knees, hold it here. If this is okay, lift up a foot, squeeze the knee in, come back, set it down. Do the other side, pull the heel in, squeeze the knee in, come on back and set the heel down. All right, take a break, come on down. First exercise, we're gonna grab our block here. And I want you to place it right where your forehead would go in a down dog. And you're gonna come into your down dog position here. So here it's okay to shorten up your dog because we're gonna do some jumping exercises here. So squeeze the triceps in towards each other, really pushing into the ground. Come up high up onto the balls of the feet look in between your hands and on your exhale bend your knees now for this first one i want you to just bring your shoulders over your wrist bend one knee in towards your chest find that protraction lift up the head step onto the block step the other foot up onto the block from here try to come down into a squat place the hands back down step the left foot back step the right foot back into this downward dog position now, if you're ready for the next stage, come up high up onto the tippy toes, look in between the hands, and on your exhale, bend the knees, and very gently hop up onto the block. Find a squat position here. Give your wrists a break. Plant the hands back down, and hop it back, gently back into your downward facing dog. Now, if you wanna test this out a little bit more, turn over into a higher setting again, right underneath the forehead, maybe your nose, come up high up onto the tippy toes, look in between your hands. On your exhale, you're gonna bend the knees and gently hop up onto the block. From here, you can keep your fingertips down, especially if the block is wobbly. Plant the hands back down, lift up the hips, draw your heels in towards your butt and come on back into your downward dog. Now, if you wanna get really fancy, highest setting, right underneath the forehead here, Come up high onto the tippy toes, look in between the hands. On your exhale, bend the knees and hop on up nice and slowly, land on top of the block. Hop on back, downward facing dog. Come down onto your knees, take a break, shake out the wrists. And a lot of times we focus on stretching out the wrists, but instead, Let's focus on building some strength up. So I want you to make two fists here and start to take circles in your wrists, finding a lot of flexion here in your forearms, taking the circles into the other direction. And then shaking it out. Okay, we're still gonna use the block this is the second set of exercises. Again, we're gonna have three rounds. You're gonna place the block a little further back from your forehead, maybe around where your chest is in a down dog. To make this harder, you could always walk it up forward a little bit, but from here, stage one, I want you to come forward into a plank, draw your right knee in towards your chest, find that protraction, keep the head lifted, and you're gonna step the right foot in front of the block Step the left foot in front of the block. Come up into the chair pose. Plant the hands down. And here, you're trying to not touch the block, so draw your right heel in, step it back. Draw your left heel in, step it back. 
To make it a little bit harder here, we're gonna keep this in the lowest setting still. And this time we're gonna hop. So come up high up onto the tippy toes, look in between the hands here. Now on your exhale, bend the knees and try to clear the block without touching it. Okay, so I touched it a little bit, but it's okay. You get the idea. Come up into this chair pose. And on your exhale, plant the hands down, come up onto the balls of the feet, kick your butt, hop it on back. All right, let's kick it up a notch. Come into the next highest setting here. Inhale, high up onto the tippy toes, look in between the hands. On your exhale, bend the knees, try to clear the block. All right, better. Come up into chair pose, give your wrists a break. Planting the hands down, rocking up onto the balls of the feet, trying to kick and clear the block here. Highest setting, this one is tough. And here we are not trying to jump around the block. Okay, we are trying to hop over the block. So we really have to pull the hips over our shoulders, pull the heels in towards our butt. And if you touch the block, that's okay. Just have some fun and smile. So come up high up onto the tippy toes, look in between the hands. On your exhale, bend the knees, kick, hop, try to land your feet over the block. Chair pose. Exhale, plant the hands down. Same idea. Come up onto the balls of the feet, try to hop, and land back down. As you can see, I hit the block, but that's totally okay. All right, give those a try. We're gonna move on to working on transitions with crow pose into chaturanga. A question that I get a lot, especially for a lot of people that are starting to work on their arm balances and work on it into their yoga flow. So here, we're actually gonna move the mat out of the way. Grab your towel, open up your towel. From here, you're gonna step onto the towel in plank pose. All right, from your plank pose, again, finding protraction in the shoulder blades, lifting up the head, trying to hold this plank pose as much as possible. You're gonna slide your knees in towards your chest. Come on up into this chair pose to give your wrists a break. Plant the hands back down, shift the weight into the arms, find that protraction, slide on back into plank. All right, if you wanna make this a little bit more challenging, you can lift up a leg slide the feet in, set it down, come into chair pose, plant the hands down, lead weight into the arms, pick up your right foot, keep this compression, hip flexor compression, knee in towards your chest, slide it on back into your plank pose. And just to even it out, let's do the other side. Protract, hover the left foot, squeeze it in, set it down, chair pose. Plant the hands down, lean weight into the hands, hover the left foot, protract, slide it on back. Okay, so now if you have crow pose and you're working on crow to chaturanga or building a little bit more strength and consistency, this next exercise is gonna be fantastic. Come back into this plank pose, feet onto the towel, protract your shoulder blades, keep the head lifted, and then from here, slide the knees in. Now you're gonna take the knees into the armpits and start to bend the elbows, lean forward. Find your crow pose, set the toes down, slide it back into chaturanga, and press back up into down dog. Come forward into plank pose, maybe hover a foot. If you wanna make this more challenging, slide the knees up into the armpits, bend the elbows, find crow pose, set one foot down, Keep the elbows bent, press back up into plank, downward facing dog. Let's do the other side, come forward into plank, hover a foot, slide both knees in towards the armpits, bend the elbows, look forward, hover, step onto the towel, slide it back, step it back, lower the knees down. Give your arms a break here, you can shake it out, shake it out. Let's try out jumping back from crow into chaturanga. So from here, plant your hands down, find your plank pose. From your plank pose, protract, draw the knees in, bend the elbows, lean forward, draw the heels in, 
And from here, think about lifting the hips up and hop back, chaturanga. Press back into your downward facing dog. Come down onto your knees here. I'm gonna give you one more option. If you are really trying to build up your strength and you're working on lolasana, or you're working on your press handstand and you have the strength but you need a little bit of that shoulder mobility, here's a good option. So moving that block out of the way, grab your towel, come back into this plank pose, find that protraction in the shoulder blades, and from here, head lifted, draw the knees in, with the knees in, draw the heels in. Try to stay here, set the feet down, slide on back. From here, let's do it again. Knees in, feet in. Maybe you start to lift the hips, come back down, slide back. One more time. Knees in, feet in. Maybe you lift the hips a little bit higher. Maybe you push into the ground a little bit more. And then from here, slowly back down onto the towel, slide on back, plank pose. Come down onto the knees. Woo, all right. Definitely tired myself here. So let's give those wrists some love. I want you to take your arms out in front of you, palms facing together. Turn the palms down, turn the palms out. We'll start with the right side first. So lift up the right arm, reach it over, interlace the fingers. Keeping the palms pressing together, take this part really slowly. Start to slowly straighten out the arms. You can wiggle the shoulders out. Take a big inhale here. And exhale out. Slowly release. Release the interlace. Switch sides. Left arm over. Interlace the fingers. Again, taking this part slowly. If you only come to about here, that's great. Ideally, starting to straighten out the arms here. You can wiggle the shoulders. Wiggle the butt. It's always a good thing. And then from here, slowly release. Shake it out, shake it out. Untuck the toes if they're tucked. You can always come back onto your mat. Taking a second here, just palms facing up, close the eyes. Coming back into your breath, reconnecting here. We're just gonna take one big inhale into the belly here. And exhale out the mouth. Okay, blink your eyes open. Bring your hands into prayer at the center of your chest. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Let me know which one you tried and how it went. I'd love to see and hear about it. Um, so have a beautiful day. Namaste.